Look like we're in Thailand? No, we're actually in Tampa. This is um, one of a couple of different Thai temples in the Tampa Bay area. And this one is called, I'm gonna try my hardest with the pronunciation, but I know I'm gonna butcher it. It's called Wat Mongol Karatamranam, something on those lines. This temple is, uh, I was just told, 37 years old, but they've been having this um, Thai market for about 10 years. And um, they open up about 9 a.m. every day, every Sunday, I should say, year round. And it closes at 1 p.m., but the best advice everyone says is to get here early, 9 or 10 a.m., because if you're here around now, this is around noon that I'm here. Uh, by the way, this is, an, this. Is, first of all, it's a beautiful temple, and it's, an, it's a wonderful setting uh, by the river here, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. But uh, the lines get really crazy, particularly for the uh, curries and the um, noodle dishes and stuff. So there's curries and pad thais and things like this. And uh, it's, I would love to show you some of the food, but the problem is the lines here are difficult, but you get a little bit of the flavor. You can have a little bit of the flavor of what? Sure. So, excuse me. Thanks. Excuse me. So you can see the crowds here. Um, yeah. So these are the Thai curries, the rice, and the pad thai. And this is the longest line. Now over here for the desserts, you've got like coconut cakes and things of that nature. And the lines for these are not too bad at all. I'll show you, tell you some of these things. I um, <laughs> can't pronounce any of them. But I know that I bought some coconut cake over here. It looked really good, quite good and it was $4. The prices here are quite good. Uh, we bought some, I'm gonna show you, there's some chicken, there were chicken skewers in the back. Here you go, pork or beef stick, $3, not too shabby. Pork or beef stick, $3, and fish fry. So the papaya salad and sticky rice has no line, which is kind of nice. You can see what they're eating here. And uh, I, we bought some beautiful barbecued curry chicken skewers, which were $3 each. And uh, some dumplings. We got these beautiful pork dumplings. These are fried bananas, which is not in my taste, but when you look at it. And uh, you can get bags of sticky rice too for a dollar a piece, Ziploc bags of sticky rice. <laughs> and uh, down here you have Thai iced tea. Uh, you know, it's only $2 for a Thai coffee. Why don't you get one for Papa? Do you want to get one for Papa, James? Okay, we'll get one for him on the way back then. He doesn't want to pay for it, my son. All right, and then back here we got some lines. This is for the noodle soup. So this is probably the second longest line you see here. People waiting for the this famous noodle soup. The longest line is the one Mom's in for the curries and the uh, pad thai. Now back here though is where the chicken skewers are, and this is the river too. Oh, the watermelon slushies, James. How do they taste, James? You're on video. They're really good. Thank are they? So the watermelon slushies are only two dollars, and they're back here, they're kind of hidden. They're made out of real fruit, as James just said. And um, now these folks, no line here at all, and they've got some chicken skewers. This is what I ate, and, and uh, they do have. Um, let's see, here's the skewers. They're down to the last one, and some sausages. And they have uh, earlier in the day they do have satay, chicken satay, with peanut sauce for five bucks. 